I really think that we we see base uh, the opportunity with base as the on ramp for the entire world to the on-chain economy. And that on-chain economy is gonna be a global economy. It's gonna be one that increases innovation, one that increases creativity and freedom. Uh, and I think everyone's gonna to wanna to be a part of it because it's just be better. Hi everyone, my name is Sage DeLeo Zhang. I am a reporter at Unchained. Currently, I'm at ETH Denver covering the event. And yesterday, I had the incredible opportunity to chat with Jesse Pollock, the creator of Layer 2 Blockchain Network Base, which was incubated by crypto exchange Coinbase. One question was how big BASE could potentially become. I mean, we've been very clear about our North Star from the beginning, which is a million builders, a billion users on chain. And really, I think about that as a proxy for we're going to bring the whole world on chain and everyone's going to be on chain on BASE. How important social applications like Farcaster slash Warcast, as well as Frentic were for the evolution of BASE itself. When I think about um, bringing the world on chain, if you look at what most people are doing with most of their time every day, it's social apps, right? Like, what do you open every day? It's like Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is. And that's because people are seeking that connection. They're looking to be in touch with the people who they, who they care about. And social apps and the networks that are, are kind of built around them um, is what enables that. And I think our perspective is that on-chain social uh, is going to be a massive, massive transformation where we're going to have all of the incredible um, product experiences and connected experiences that have come from social in the last 20 years. But for the first time, um, when people are bringing their identity on chain, it's actually going to be theirs. And the content they create is going to be theirs. And they're going to be able to monetize it in a way that the more the value goes directly to them, they're going to have sovereignty over it. They're not going to be deplatformed. Additionally, I also was curious about the philosophy and culture behind BASE. The way we've approached BASE is we didn't go out and said, hey, say, hey, in order for BASE to have an impact, we need to go and do some new fangled technology that's proprietary to base. Instead, what we said was, we're going to build on an open source technology platform in the OP stack. We're going to join as the second core developer, and we're going to contribute uh, to that so that everyone can benefit from it. And I think what that um, uh, means, it means that we are contributing to a public good of technology that everyone can build on. And that actually gives space and room for the kind of cultural movements that we're creating and, and to, to really shine. Because now, hey, everyone's building on the same foundation. We're all on the super chain together. But the stuff that's happening from a creative perspective on base is really, really differentiated and special. And so I think we have thought a lot about um, how do we not make the technology exclusive or not make it proprietary? Because at the end of the day, we don't think that's what crypto is about. What we think crypto is about is creating open public goods that everyone can share and using that as an open context where all of us can come together to build the city that Will is talking about. Because at the end of the day, when we talk about an on-chain global economy, what we're talking about is billions of people coming together into a new digital on-chain city and saying, we're going to choose this economy as the place where we build our business.